You know, as this is my 250th matchday vlog, I'd written a script, I'd tried to be inspirational, but then the match happened and I just decided that was a shit rip, but stuff it, it actually doesn't matter, so without any further ado, let's get this shit fest over and done with. out the first part tunnel. Here we are on the gentleman's walk from one end of the stand to the other. Actually quite confident the team we've got today is very attacking. Ross McCormack starting. It's very promising indeed. Are you serious? Right, so on our return to far part for 2019 time for prediction. We've got a strong team out. I think we're gonna win 2-0. What are you saying Adam? 3 1. Roscoe, what are you saying? You're a store for that shit, you want to be? 3 1. Aye. Fair enough. We did it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think we were 3 1. Fair game, Roscoe. Bastard Lincoln still landing. Alright, on the well. Let's get to the next round. In which sense? County have got their first corner of the game. County have been more into it than we have. Come on! That's some run up he's taken. Oh! Nah. Good luck, Scott Fox. It's Ross McCormack. Oh, what an anti climax! I have this fucking shit, I'm in my fucking video. Gone. Oh. So there's nobody wants to get this shot. Tumble. Oh. Yes. Come on. Oh! Oh! That was beautiful! That was beautiful! Come on. Yes! Yes! Far Park 0-0 nil, nil. That's all I can actually say It's been a pure game We've had a few wee moments of magic from Aroli Arayubi But I think 0-0 is a fair result at the moment And at times it's been hard to actually see Which team is the premiership side But Ross McCormack has been posting missing for most of the half Pretty much because he's sitting too deep uh, But aye, but in the second half That's all I can say 0-0, nil, nil, half time On the way here we go, second half's about to kick off. On the way. Having to change that out for the 19th, we're leaving the field now for 15 Ross McCormack, the first Brian Duncan Knight, Curtis Bay. Yeah, that's a fair change, I think. Because I think. It's me, this is fucking. This class can't help. You have that. Will you be saying that if he scores the last minute winner? Probably not. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, trouble up now. Oh yeah. Fucking God! They deserve that! We need to wake the hell up now! I'm hitting this game. Yes? Oh! He said that what the fuck? The Ross County boy slides in and Elliot Freer is tackled and then the Ross County boy comes off.
Unfortunate situation to see my team get knocked out of the cup at the first hurdle. Now, what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Absolute hee haw. You know, Motherwell, we're a funny club. You know, we, t we seem to have one good season, then one bad, one good season, one bad. And as I just ended the first scene there, which was the intro, a very unorthodox intro by my standards, but uh, what I've got here. Which is not this, but underneath this, on one of my door handles of this fantastic bit of furniture. I've got a pendant signed by the 1991 cup winning team. I'm pretty sure this is my dad's though, but I, I borrowed it from him. And also there was that uh, documentary on BBC Alba on Friday night, which I deliberately did not watch. Why? Because, in reality, I don't really like to build up my hopes too much and that's why I never tell anyone my predictions anymore about what I think the score's going to be of a certain game because 
it's always gonna come back and bite you in the arse somewhere along the line. Like, even if you say something completely positive. We've got that by the shitloads at Motherwell. I mean, we've got so many fans that are always so positive after we win. And it's all looking good. It's, and it's good for about four or five days at work or school or whatever walk of life you're in. And then you just get beat. And it just turns to shit again. Last season we had our fun in the cup. It's time to just put that memory to bed completely. And look back on it when I am 91. Uh, years old and just think, wow, I was a really impressionable young kid by then. Football as a whole, it's a bastard. But it's a good bastard. I've met so many friends through it. Had so many heartbreaking moments. Cheers lads. As soon as it went half time today, at the game, I turned to my good friend Ross and just said, we're getting beat here. And as a football fan that goes to as many games as possible, we all are. And as soon as the first goal goes in, we're thinking, right, it's going to go to 2 0, and then Mother will get a score late on, and it'll be too little too late, and that's the story of our lives. Who doesn't have moments like this? I mean, Motherwell's one of the most notorious clubs for this sort of stuff, and that's without blaming the manager, the players. Even though there's a lot of changes that I think should be made at the club, which I can do in a different video if we if we reach a certain amount of likes, which I put at the start of the video. If we reach 100 likes in this video, which I'm sure we can get there, uh, I will do a video before Hibs at home, uh, stating what I think should happen at the club, and it will be me being sober because I have needed a few more of these tonight after today's woeful game. The thing is, on Friday, Friday was one of the best days I've had in a while. Uh, I was working with Sharp Dev and Marius Platt. It's a project that Sharp Dev has been working on for the last couple of weeks and he'll continue to do so uh, until he's finished and I've got some behind the scenes stuff so that, that'll go up as soon as his documentary is done. But I had one of the happiest days of my life just hanging about the ground just talking about being a match day vlogger and just talking about supporting Motherwell and what a difference 24 hours can do I mean you talk so positively about the experiences you have of supporting a club who then stab you in the fucking back 24 hours later as we get beat 2-1 by Ross County but yeah guys uh, that's my piece I'm almost out of alcohol I'm almost out of words, and all I've got to say now is the most motherful thing possible can be Ross County getting drawn at home to Auckland Lake Talbot or something like that in the next round. Then we beat Hibs on Wednesday, and then we get beat by Dundee on Saturday. That is the most motherful thing, and I love them for it. This isn't the worst day I've had in football, and it never will be. I mean, I've seen Mother will get beat 1-0 by Albion Rovers and I was greeting for about an hour afterwards. And I still made a rant video, which I'm pretty sure I took down. <laughs> it's just a shit situation. And we can go on about it, but I'm just going to move on with my life because this year is hopefully going to be the year that changes my life for the better. Uh, all I need to do is look after myself, because I've not. In all honesty, I've been putting so much effort into YouTube. I've put more work into YouTube than I have done in school, than I have done in college, than I probably will do in uni, because uh, that's my next destination. As long as I've got you guys to try and entertain, to make laugh, to just do all the fun shit with, that's what life's all about. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my waffle. I've enjoyed bringing it to you, and I'll see you in the next video, uh, hopefully be up very soon. Uh, I'll try and get one up for a preview for the Hibs game, and then we'll see what happens from there. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. Take care.